Honey Comb Textbook in English for class 7 Page number 1 Notes for the teacher Learning a language means using it for a wide variety of purposes Language is best acquired when attention is focused on meaning not on form words and phrases not closely related to objects and attention remain empty and lifeless to young learners language comes alive when presented in meaning making contexts words phrases that are used to accomplish many useful purposes follow a certain system inherent in the language itself learners become familiar with the system through continuous exposure to the language in meaning focused situations interaction discussion and sharing of ideas among learners provide opportunities that elicit real information about them and their experiences and opinions encourage learners to work in pairs and small groups and let them go beyond the textbook by providing a variety of language inputs for spontaneous and natural use of language build on the exercises given in the textbook and design more tasks activities in keeping with learners interests needs and surroundings employ free response exercises with more than one possible response promote reading habits through storytelling not merely teaching stories as text story retelling choral reading shared reading etc create class libraries for exchange of books and shared reading the library may also move with children to the next higher class page number 2 poems need not be taught line by line word by word you may give a model reading but let every child read the poem on her his own to feel the richness of language rhythm and music of words exercises accompanying the poem are more for understanding the poem as a whole than learning for teaching language items encourage learners to tell new stories narrate and codate compose short poems in english or their own language talk about pictures illustrations in the book and cartoons in newspaper magazines don't get anxious about the errors they will make constant exposure practice and correction in the form of feedback will help them improve themselves by and by every page has a column for words and meanings encourage children to write down other words they find difficult along with their meanings in this column units 1 to 3 three questions some suggestions given below are applicable to all prose lessons in the book a tall story story the three questions in the opening paragraph though philosophical in nature may be of practical significance to individuals in self realization and value inculcation spend about 10 minutes discussing the questions the king asks let children express their views even if their observations do not reveal any understanding of the questions the discussion session will provide an excellent base for the work to follow the story is sectioned in two parts each part may be sectioned further according to the convenience and time available comprehension check at the end of each section is a recall of what they have read so far design while reading comprehension exercises in the form of factual comprehension questions 
multiple choice questions and or completion of sentences etc. Page 3 while covering portions of the texts, either talk about the illustrations or ask children to tell you about them. Illustrations are there not merely for decoration but mainly for comprehension. Questions under working with the text to be answered orally, later to be written in the copybook. At the end of the lesson, draw children's attention to the three questions in the context of present period class. Isn't the present period the right time to do as best you can the task in hand jointly with the members of the group for her, his, good and your own? The squirrel Drawing a squirrel or finding the picture of a squirrel and describing it variously will commit learners in trust to the poem they are reading. Help them find where and its usage in the dictionary. Avoid fixed phrases like where and tear or wear one's heart on one's sleeves, etc. Draw their attention two sentences like the following she wore a plain dress but an enigmatic smile should a man wear a lady's perfume the illustration given in the book may generate comments such as the following the squirrel's tail looks like a question mark it reminds me of the mark of punctuation that comes at the end of an interrogative sentence. Looking at this squirrel, you might say it was asking a question. What is the question? The squirrel is wearing a long overcoat reaching the tip of its tail. If it begins to run now, its tail will look like the bushy end of a painter's brush. Page 4 Speak the words given below. Ask children to write the word and against it two new words that rhyme. Gray Mark Went Nut A gift of chapels. Children's world Their spontaneity and imagination Ability to see contradictions in normal behavior and moving acts of charity. While covering section and subsections of the text, focus on situations in which children see themselves. Elect their comments on and reactions to Ravi's exaggeration about the kitten ancestry, children cleverly feeding the kitten and Mridu and Meena's final act of charity. Focus on values such as sincerity, care and compassion as exemplified in the episodes. Under working with language, highlight some points about the use of if clauses. First, an if clause, also known as conditional clause, expresses a condition or cause whose result effect is felt in the second part of the sentence. Second, if the verb in the if clause is in present tense, the word clause normally has will plus verb. Third, an if clause can be placed either at the beginning or at the end of the main clause. I'll come to your house if it doesn't rain or if it doesn't rain, I'll come to your house. Activity 2. Under Speaking and writing lends itself to picking up appropriate language to learn and practice life skills such as decision making, negotiating, persuading etc. Let all the children in pairs, groups perform this activity. Help them wherever necessary with appropriate language use. Page number 5. The Rebel Activity 1 is a combination 
of open ended as well as text based responses item 2 and 3 entail recalling looking at the appropriate lines in the poem whereas 1 fourth fifth and sixth are discussion points let children read introduction to the poem silently and find the desired word the significance of the title will then become amply clear the poem contains 50 couplets each couplet may be recited as an independent unit ask children if they think last couplet expresses the poet's own opinion and comment relate the last couplet to the discussion item 6th under activity 1 gopal and the hills of fish a comic story to be understood through pictures with strips of text for support children will have a natural enthusiasm for this new kind of material divide the class into two small groups let each group look at and describe a set of pictures assigned to them and construct their own text texts thus produced can be put together to form a complete story to be edited for coherence and accuracy if necessary texts may first be produced in the child's own language and the teacher can help them to reformulate these in english conversely for children fluent in english this may be an opportunity to formulate equivalent texts in their own languages picture reading under speaking and writing to be attempted in the same manner word ladder provides an opportunity for vocabulary building elicit the required word from learners by providing a set of synonyms for it cross angry annoyed displeased tiny small little negligible page 6 the shed ask children to look for words or phrases in the poem suggesting the neglected state of the shed like spider's web hanging rusty in the first stanza there are four more in the second stanza let children call out three or four pairs of rhyming words that come at the end of lines activity 2 will generate a lot of individual contributions children may even make up spooky stories and quote them as real experiences show interest and belief in each anecdote for the teacher have a discussion in the class of the wordle given below sensitize the learners towards digital mode of payment the various digital modes of payments described in the picture include digital cash net banking digital economy e transaction e wallet demonetization etc honeycomb you were just listening to this audiobook production assistants Meenakshi Kukreti and Jagbandhu Jana recorded by Batilang Lingdo technical assistance Soumya Malik produced by Ajit Horo and presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi India